back to make, uh, we'll remake Bay Rum. It's a men's uh, fragrance. Um, and I'm going to try and keep it the same as my last uh, soap. It had uh, black, uh, neon, it wasn't a neon, but it was a pretty, pretty bright uh, orange and a pretty bright um, green. So in went my cream. I'm adding kale and clay and colloidal oatmeal to this one. Stick blend it. So I sold the uh, out of this one this past weekend on the market. I also <clears throat> sold out of my Find Your Bliss. It's a fragrance. Um, well, it's a mix of lavender and sage. So I'm gonna remake that too. And with my lime water, and it has tussa silk and sodium lactate. With this recipe, I did a um, water discount, twenty percent water discount. Okay. Let me separate it into bowls and color the batter. Make sure they're both equal. Alright. So for my green, I'm going to use Kermit Green Mica from Be Scented. And a little bit of green neon pigment from Nurture Soap. And for my orange, I'm using Eat Me Orange from the Workshop Heritage and Etsy. And a little bit of the tangerine whirl from the uh, brambleberry. Let me grab a napkin. And for my main color, it's going to be black. And I'm going to use a mixture of activated charcoal and a black oxide. I, um, I'm scared that if I add too little of the black, then I'll get a uh, gray soap. You know, it has happened before. And if I need to add more, I'll add a little bit more. Okay. Oops. So I'll start off with my orange.
attempt and try to recreate the same small swirl I did last one. Um, I'll try and post a picture in here, see if I can do it. But it's a very simple oops, swirl. I think I did it with a chopstick. No, a skewer, I don't know. So I'm going to use a spoon to swirl. I think it was what I used last time. I didn't videotape that time, so I can't remember. But these are going to be pretty big bars. some leftovers so I'm going to do some samples. Okay so here are my samples. I was able to get six out of the, what was left over. Um, of course um, I cut these in half and I send them out in half pieces. So stay tuned for the cutting video which will be up next. Cut bay rum. Um, it's a pretty big bar. Um, but let's see what it looks like inside. That looks pretty awesome. Doesn't oh, yeah. look exactly like my other one, but looks pretty nice. And they're huge bars. I like if they're bigger as they're like big as my palm.
last one. I have an end piece that I'm going to split in half so I can give some samples. Although, I have the extras. That was a very nice swirl. I think that's the best swirl I've gotten in this, um, for this soap. And then I have these bars. I had to steam um, these ones because they were a little ashy. Um, they were just like these. But I'll steam these after I cut them. They're faster. So they look just like small bars. And what I do for these, because they are samples, I just um, cut them in half. And they're pretty big samples. Um, it's like a mini bar. Pretty big. But I, I love to send samples when uh, people purchase from me so they can smell my other scents, other fragrances. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.